we're looking at the construction of an ellipse using the auxiliary circle method using the auxiliary circle method all right for this particular drain our major axis is going to be 120 mm while our minor axis is going to be 70 mm our major axis is 120 mm while our minor axis is 70 mm all right so if my major axis is 120 mm i'm going to pick the radius of what radius uh 60 i'm going to pick radius 60 all right picking radius 60 i'm going to draw uh the major axis all right then the minor axis is what is uh 17 mm. so i'm going to pick radius what radius 35 radius 35 which is this and i'm going to draw uh my minor axis okay after doing that the next procedure is to divide either of the circle into what 12 equal half to divide into 12 equal halves all right Okay, I haven't divided the circle into 12 equal halves. Then I'm going to do my numbering. Uh, let me start from the base here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And this is going to be what? 0 over 12. All right. Okay, I haven't done that. This is the next procedure. I'm going to you take note that the horizontal plane of 1 and 11, they lie on the same plane. Likewise, 10 and 2, its horizontal plane would lie on the same place. Yes or no? And that is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to draw out a line from the horizontal plane of both figures. Ten and two. Then eight and four. Also followed by seven and five. Okay, likewise, the vertical plane, the vertical plane of six and ten, the vertical plane of six and ten. Okay, so wherever this vertical plane intersects with the aforementioned horizontal plane, I'm going to what asterisk it. All right. So those are the traces of my what of my elliptical curve. Then seven and eleven. Yeah. This is its point of intersection. Then five and one. This is its point of intersection. Then four and two. All right. So I already have my point of intersections. All right. So my elliptic curve is going to pass through the points which I have here. Yeah. Those are the points whereby my elliptic curve is going to pass through. All I need to do now is just pick my French curve and draw out uh, the curves Right, so this is our elliptical curve using the auxiliary circle method. Thank you.